I was not planning on doing a video today. It's about six o'clock, but I just got off the phone with my husband who is currently struggling with a little problem, a conundrum. And while it's fresh on my noggin, I thought I would share this with you just in case you need a recap or you're having the same problem. My husband works out of town. So sometimes he's in a hotel and he does not have access to a kitchen. Sometimes he's lucky enough to get an Airbnb or he rents out an apartment. He's been out of town at this point for going on eight months and he has been struggling with keto and low carb, staying on track. You know how it is. When you're not in your normal day-to-day -day routine, you have a tendency to veer off course. So my point is Chris has managed to put on a few pounds and he's not happy with it. So what he has went back to doing is counting his carbs slash net carbs. This is a good tip. So if you are having an issue with a weight loss stall or you don't feel like you are dropping the weight fast enough, if you are not calculating and jotting down your carb count for the day, you're just estimating in your head, sometimes you forget a few things and those carbs will add up Hence, putting you in that stall, Chris rings me up and asks, what can I eat? I'm out of net carbs for the day. What can I do? I'm starving. I'm not going to bed this early. And my mind is on food. Give me some ideas. Chris, just Google it. I'm sure there are lots of articles, blog posts, TikToks, videos. The thing was, he had already Googled it before he called me up to get suggestions. And the only thing he could find online was the clean keto community checklist O foods that are zero carbs. You know the ones I'm talking about. Avocado oil, coconut oil, butter, steak, mahi-mahi, shrimp, salmon, cauliflower, sauerkraut. The foods that are good for us but they're boring and when you want something sweet or you want a snack, those aren't the things you normally reach for. Today though, we're gonna go over the things you can consume to satisfy those cravings. Whether this is new to you and you're a beginner or you're a pro, but you need some ideas, just like Chris. First things first, this is not a video for the keto police. If you are opposed to sucralose, aspartame, natural flavors, then you probably don't want to watch this video. If you are one of those people that feel like keto is a food, you know the phrase I'm talking about, that's not keto, this video isn't going to be up your alley because keto is not a food. Keto is about being in a state of ketosis and your body running off of fat as its fuel source. If you do not agree with me, that is fine. I am a firm believer in you doing what's best for you. No matter how you tweak that lifestyle or how you want to live your life, you do you, boo, and I'll do me. So let's play nice. Keep it friendly. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I feel like it is a good time to say this just in case you have been struggling. Nobody's perfect. Sometimes we fall off plan. And it's normally in situations like this where we just get frustrated. We can't think of that snack. We want something, but we can't think of any good ideas or alternatives. And so you just throw your hands up in the air and order a pizza from Domino's. It was one blip, no big deal. Don't beat yourself up. Don't punish yourself. Don't throw in the towel and give up just start right back over at your next meal or snack and move on. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be able to go over everything, but like I said, I do wanna be able to give you some ideas in case you are struggling to stay under your carb or net carb count for the day. So what we're gonna be talking about is zero carb foods, snacks, even meals. There are very few foods that are totally and completely 100% zero carb. And those are going to be things like steak that's not marinated, maybe some beef without seasonings. 
because pretty much everything we consume, sometimes it even feels like air, has carbs in it those little sneaky carbs. What you may not know, the FDA that regulates the nutritional information that companies put on their products, you know, on the sides of the bottles, they allow them to round down. So even if something says zero carbs, truthfully, it probably has some in it, whether it is 0 0.5, so almost half a carb, or 0 0.7 they get to round down. Keep that in mind. So if you're consuming something that says zero carbs on the container, odds are it probably isn't. And if you consume copious amounts, not just that one serving, that's going to add up. I'm going to start out with my favorite category, ironically enough, the sweets. Yes, I have a sweet tooth. I always have. And so does my husband, Chris. So I got some ideas for you. Let's talk about one of my favorites from back in the day when I first started this weight loss low carb journey, Winky. It's sugar-free Jell-O. You can find it at your local grocery store. Walmart has two different varieties of this. They have just the Jell-O and it is going to be a variety pack around three dollars and fifty cents for 12 sugar-free jellos that are zero total carbs you don't have to do any of the math zero carbs the flavors strawberry cherry lemon lime and orange but they also have a parfait so it's a creamier consistency it's going to be an eight pack it's around three dollars 25 cents it is a variety pack strawberry lemon lime and orange there is some math involved in this one it has one carb one sugar alcohol those cancel each other out giving you zero net carbs it definitely takes care of those sweet cravings and you're not loading up on lots of calories either if you are someone that counts calories i believe calories don't count on keto but that's just me and a lot of research and doctors also feel the same way look it up if you're looking for something chewy gummy something more like candy max mellow think marshmallows lots of different flavors so it just depends on what you're looking for this particular one is burnt caramel and you can find these at grocery stores walmart amazon you've got options there is math involved in this so it's not zero total carbs this one is going to be zero net carbs a serving is five carbs two dietary fiber three sugar alcohols and that's how you get your zero net carb remember if you're doing net carbs you can subtract sugar alcohols you can subtract fiber and get yourself down to zero another great thing they add collagen and mct two of these is considered a serving oh, they smell so good mm. Have you heard of Smart Cakes? Magical. They're moist. They're not crumbly. Lemon, chocolate, cinnamon, raspberry cream, vanilla latte. One little cupcake is a serving and it is going to have nine total carbs. You are going to be able to deduct your fiber, which is five, and your erythritol, which is four. You get down to zero net carbs. I did test these before becoming a type 1 diabetic to see if they knocked me out of ketosis to see if they spiked my blood sugar and they did not they have also provided us with a discount code so if you do order check the description box there's a link there there's a code i know a lot of the times they'll have like big bundle deals those are always the best the discount slides right in and takes a little chunk off too I told you it's late that sun is creeping in it's getting ready to hit my face so i'm gonna have to move positions let's go to the couch bars are what got me through the first few months 
of adjusting to a keto lifestyle. These are the Nola bars by Perfect Keto. They're more of a chewy granola bar. My current favorite is the white chocolate macadamia nut. They break it down for you on the back so that you don't have to do the math in your head. 15 total carbs, eight fiber, four allulose, two sugar alcohols, bringing it all the way down to one net carb. Lucky for all of us, they did give me a discount code to share with you all. It's always down in the description box every single holiday. They're running a sale. I guarantee they're running one right now. Let me check. Yes, oh, well, of course they're having a sale. Memorial Day. So the sale is their second biggest sale of the year. Black Friday is number one. So Memorial Day sale runs Monday, May 22nd till Monday, May 29th. If the sale is over though, I still have a discount code in the description box you can use. But right now, site-wide, you're going to be able to save up to 40%. The more you buy, the more you save. One item, 15% off, two, 20% off, three, 25% off, four, 35% off, five or more items, 40%. Definitely time to stock up on your collagens, your bars, anything that you order from Perfect Keto. Link in the description box. All you gotta do is click on it and it should apply it when you check out. Sometimes when you want something sweet, a sweet drink will do the trick. I am not opposed to diet sodas. Just make sure you read your label, but things like Diet Coke, Diet Mountain Dew, Coke Zero, Diet Pepsis, all zero. And they're gonna satisfy or take away that sweet craving. My current favorite, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar in Summer Freeze. Tastes like Rocket Pop. If I want something sweet, I don't want to spike my blood sugar. I have no carbs left for the day. This is one of my go-tos right here. If you're looking for a cleaner version of sodas, you're wanting to stay away from sucralose, aspartame, ACE-K, all those things, then look into Zevia. It's sweetened with stevia and they have a ton of flavors. Another option, you can add these to your waters they're flavor enhancers. A lot of them though are gonna have carbs. Maltodextrin, which is higher on the glycemic index than table sugar. So definitely read your ingredients, look at your nutritional facts, and pick one that doesn't have the stuff in it that could knock you out of ketosis. Normally, and I would say probably 99% of the little packets that you put in your bottled water, they have maltodextrin and stuff like that. You don't want those if you're trying to get into ketosis. If you're just doing a low carb lifestyle, then you might be okay only having a few a day. But if that's something that you drink all day long, it might catch up with you. Lots of teas are low to no carbs, net carbs. One of my favorites, this one is the concentrated Hazo unsweetened passion. I think I had picked this particular one up at Whole Foods. There are stores that have them like Target and I'm sure you can even pick it up off of Amazon if you need to. If you need the crunch factor, you want the salty, you've always got pork rinds. Those are another product that you're always gonna have to look back here to see what's going on. Some companies like to add seasonings and maltodextrin, even MSG, porking good. Oh, this one, oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Salted butter, porking good pork rinds, zero carbs. They have lots of different flavors. I need to contact them and see if I can get a discount code for this company. But Epic has some as well. You can get your crunch in with veggies, celery, radishes, cucumbers, lettuce, kale, you know what I'm talking about. Kale chips, olive oil, and a little bit of seasoning or just sea salt in your air fryer or your oven. Oh, mm, delicious. Meals. It's dinner time and you are out of carbs. What are you going to do? Hard boiled eggs, mayo, mustard, pink salt. You know what all those have in common? 
zero carbs. You know what you get when you add them together? You get an egg salad. Another meal that is going to be one carb or less chicken salad. Shredded chicken, add some mayo when I have no carbs to spare for the day. Then I'll add pickle juice and it's gonna give it that extra flavor. When I have a few carbs to spare, then I will go ahead and cut up some spicy atomic pickles from Aldi. Make sure you're just not using like bread and butter pickles or anything with sugar in it. That way you're keeping the carb count one or less. Salmon salad. Now, in case you're wondering what I put in my salmon salad, a can of salmon, or if I have meal prepped fillets in advance, I will just shred one up. Mayo, a little bit of lemon juice, celery, pepper, a pinch of dill seasoning. Not too much. Just about all seasonings are going to have creepy carbs in there. That will add up. Remember, these companies are allowed to round down. Let's say you're like me and Chris, and you are a net carb person. Take one of those salads that we just talked about and add it to the zero net carb tortillas. This one, they're so teeny weeny. They're like little street taco tortillas. Let's talk the nutritional math. One tortilla of this brand is considered a serving. You have five only five total carbs, five dietary fiber. There's your magic, zero net carbs. Missions makes several varieties of zero net carb tortillas now. Original, and then they also have a tomato basil. I think those are seven total carbs, seven dietary fiber, meaning zero net carbs. Keto chow, this is a keto meal replacement shake. This covers so many different bases and Keto Chow has dozens and dozens of flavors. So you get the packet, then you add your fat of choice. Personally, me and Chris like to add melted butter, half a stick, and then about 13 ounces of warm water into our Ninja with the powder, blend it up. Unfortunately, it is not zero net carbs but it's 0 0.7. They're not rounding down. They're not trying to fool anybody. They're telling you exactly down to the decimal point what the net carb count is. And if you turn it over on the back, they broke all of the possibilities down for you. This is another one of those companies that I pestered and pestered until they gave us a discount. So if you want to try out a few different flavors, order some of the single packets like this before you buy any large ones, then use the discount link and code below. So when you order, you can save. Keto Chow also makes soup that you can make and then sip on, sort of like you would a broth, but better savory chicken soup, 0 0.9 net carbs. They have the beef soup base, less than 0 0.1 net carbs. And they also have a tomato. So if you want savory, there you go. Wanna sip on something warm, but you don't want any carbs. You got nothing to spare for the day. Look at the broths. Try sipping something warm like this when you're hungry. It always seems to make me feel full. Definitely look at your nutritional facts because sometimes they'll sneak sugar in these carb count will go way up. I feel like I could probably honestly go on for days. There are so many possibilities, especially when it comes to net carbs and getting it down to one or less. But I feel like at this point, the video is already going to be exceptionally long. What I need from you though, is let's make the video interactive in the comments. Tell me your favorite zero carb snack or meal or your favorite zero net carb snack or meal. This way, people can go down and get additional ideas from you all. Because like I said, I'm no pro. I just do this as my own lifestyle. I've not been taught. I'm not a doctor or nutritionist. I have just been learning 
as I'm going along. And I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that have been doing this much longer than I have. If I do a part four, I can give you all a shout out and let everyone know about your favorite snack or meal idea that's zero carb, zero net carb. This gives us all more ideas and ways to get through this journey with it being a lot less stressful. I hope this was helpful. I hope I was able to give you some ideas. Definitely look down in the comments and see what other people are saying are some of their favorites. If you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. Make sure you check the notification bell. Sometimes YouTube likes to give you guys the boot. When you click the notification bell, it will alert you so that you never miss a thing. If you're looking for a nice non-keto police family to hang out with over on Facebook, it's all things keto with Christy. Come on over, hang out with us. Lots of ideas and it's a wonderful community. So I'll have everything mentioned in today's video, linked below for you, even some of my favorites like the Ninja, the blender I use, little things that made my journey easier and I wish I'd have known about them from day one. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.